Hello class, this is Miss Augustine and today we are going to do Chapter 12 Solutions Part 3 and we're going to talk about solution concentration. So, what do I mean by solution concentration? Well, concentration is a measure of the amount of a solute in a given amount of solvent or solution. And we use these cute little brackets, they're I don't know what you call them, rectangular brackets, to denote specifically moles of solute per liter of solution. So you might ask yourself, self, why do I care? Well, if you're talking about the concentration of your orange juice, for instance, or the concentration of your maple syrup versus your honey, it doesn't really matter. However, if you go to the doctor and you're getting an allergy shot, for instance, or a vaccine, you kind of hope that they put the right amount of the medication in there because if they put too little, it won't help you. And if they put too much in the case of, for instance, allergy medicine, it could cause you to go into anaphylaxis shock and die. So the concentration kind of matters. So again, it's important for all medical and scientific fields when we think in terms of medications, someone has figured out what concentration is good for our bodies and they make sure that that is what happens. Here's an example of an IV bag. If you go to the hospital and you need fluids, for instance, they wanna make sure that they've got this correct concentration of sodium chloride so that it matches your body fluids. Otherwise, remember from biology class, if it's, um, what is it, isotonic or hypotonic? I can't even remember. But anyway, like in the one case, if the solution is wrong, then the cells shrivel up. And in the other case, if the solution is wrong, the cells could blow up. So again, you wanna kinda have the right concentration. So we have terms that we use to describe the concentration of solutions. So general terms would be dilute, little solute dissolved in a solvent, as opposed to concentrated, which means plenty of solute dissolved in a solvent. So here is something that we don't even see anymore, but this is concentrated orange juice. You might see lemonade come this way and you dilute it up three cans for every one can of, um, three cans of water for every one can of concentrate. Um, examples would be if you make your cup of coffee and you put a half a teaspoon of sugar in it, that would be dilute. If you take your mug of coffee and put 12 tablespoons of sugar in it, that would be kind of concentrated. Concentrated would be something like honey, for instance, or um, condensed soups that you have to add water to. So units of concentration. What we do is we have different types of concentrations and generally in our class we will just talk about molarity. Its symbol is capital M and it stands for the moles of solute in one liter of solution. So molarity means moles per liter. And again the symbol capital M for molarity, amount of solute in moles per volume of solution in liters. So interpreting units, if there's a six molar HCl solution, that means that for every one liter of that solution, there are six moles of HCl dissolved in it. So similarly, if you have a half molar sodium chloride solution, that means in every one liter of solution, there is half a mole of sodium chloride. So how would we go about making a one molar solution of sodium chloride? If we were in school, I would take out my volumetric flask and demonstrate it. So I'm going to do the best I can. So if I needed one mole of sodium chloride to make a one molar solution, I would first grab my bottle of sodium chloride and mass out 58.44 grams. Where did I get that number? One times sodium is 22.99, one times chlorine is 35.45, add them together and presto changeo 58.44. Then I would carefully transfer that salt to a volumetric flask using a funnel or something. Then I would add 
enough deionized water, that's what the little D stands for, to fill the flask. And I'm not really filling it to the, the flask to the top, I'm going to fill it to the correct volume mark. And then I'm going to add a stirring rod and put it on a stir plate to dissolve. So if we looked closely at this, we would see this is a special kind of flask called the volumetric flask. You can't see it in this picture, but they're blown glass and they all have this little line. And there's a line that tells me exactly when I've reached one liter. So if this is a one liter flask, the line shows me a liter. If this was a 500 mil flask, there would be a line that shows me where 500 mils is and so on. So in general, what you do is you mass out however much of um, the solute that you need. You would put it into your flask and then I would fill it up part of the way like this. Then I would add a stirring rod and put it on a stirrer plate. Then I would carefully remove my stirring rod and I would dilute it up so that the meniscus was on the line. Now, molarity is defined as moles of solute per liter of solution, where capital M is molarity, and we're talking about moles of solute, which is N, and liters of solution, which is V, volume. So again, interpreting how we would solve for molarity, M is equal to N, number of moles, per V volume. So M is N over V, and if we rearranged it to solve for the number of moles, if I asked you, so how many grams would I need to make this solution, for instance, knowing how to calculate molar mass, we could rearrange this and say M times V equals N. So yes, this means this equation will require you to use algebra. So think about this. The worksheets that will be assigned, you will be solving for M sometimes, Sometimes you'll be solving for N. Sometimes we'll ask you to solve for grams because you know how to go from moles to grams. And sometimes you will be solving for V volume. And since molarity is defined as moles per liter, that means if we tell you how many milliliters, you have to go from milliliters to liters, remembering that there are 1,000 milliliters in a liter. So let's solve a problem. What is the molarity of a solution made by dissolving 85.0 grams of NaCl, ding, 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 three sig figs, in 750 mils of water, ding, 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 three sig figs. So first we're going to convert from grams to moles. So here I've done that for you. I've said 85 grams of sodium chloride, always start with the given, times, this is molar mass, Notice that I've put my mole of sodium chloride in the numerator and my grams of sodium chloride in the denominator so that grams cancels out. Grams, grams cancels out. And that leaves me, when I plug it into my calculator, with 1.4544 and a whole bunch of more numbers. But we know that we were given 3 and 3, so we're rounding this number to 3. Our third significant digit is the 5, the number after it is a 4, so that means we've solved for 1.45 moles of sodium chloride. Now, we still aren't at molarity yet, gotta work for it. So now we're going to solve for molarity. So here, I've restated the equation, m equals n over v. I've taken my number of moles that I calculated here. I've divided that by volume. Notice I've changed from 750 mils to 0 0.750 liters. And now I've plugged it into my calculator and that gives me 1.93333. This is repeat. Again, we had three significant digits. The third significant digit is the three. The number after it is a three, so we let it go. So our answer here is 1.93 molar sodium chloride. Now, there's another kind of problem that we solve, and that is called molarity by dilution. Given a concentrated solution, how do you make a dilute solution from it? So the equation that we're going to use 
is M1V1 equals M2V2. And this begs the question, why are we learning about this? Why do I care? Well, it turns out you should care. In lab, we order things often that come as solutions. And in particular, in lab, whenever we order acids, they're delivered as concentrated solutions. Depending on the acid, it's either 12 or 16 moles per liter. But we need to calculate how to dilute them because we can't use concentrated solutions. In lab, we like to get them diluted down to six molars or one molar or two molar. So we have to have a way to calculate this safely. And that's where this um, equation comes in. So now we're going to solve a molarity dilution problem. So here is the problem. How many liters of a 16 molar hydrochloric acid solution are needed to make 0.5 liters of a solution with a concentration of 2.5 molar HCl. So we're going to define molarity 1 is the 16 molar concentrated. V1 is the volume of that that we need. It'll be a small amount. Molarity 2 that we want to make is 2.5 molar, and our volume that we're trying to make is half a liter. So here's my equation rearranged to solve for V1. It's M2 V2 over M1. And now we're going to plug in our concentrations, and we're going to cancel out molarity. And we'll see that what we end up needing is a volume of 0 0.078125 liters. Looking up here, two sig figs, so rounding to two sig figs, it's 0 0.078 liters. Now, what that means is that I only need 78 milliliters of the concentrated solution and then I'll put that into a 0.5 liter volumetric flask and then I'll dilute it up to 0.5 liters and the resulting solution will be a 2.5 molar which is obviously much less concentrated. So the worksheets for this unit include molarity problems and molarity by dilution problems. This is Ms. A signing off.